This sermon is for December 6th, 2020, and the scripture is from Isaiah 40, 1 through 11. And this is the second week of Advent. So from Isaiah, Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then wonder and glory will be revealed, and all people shall see it together. God has spoken. Cry out that all people are temporary like grass. Get you up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. God will feed the flock like a shepherd and will gather the lambs and carry them tenderly and gently lead the mother sheep. So in Isaiah's time, in Jesus' time, and today, we are in need of comfort. Every time we have been through suffering, we know that we need God to speak comfort to us. We know we need the mountain roads lowered and the rough wilderness places smoothed out so we can walk returning home like the Jewish people who are returning to their homeland after having been in exile in a foreign land. After any major life change, we're forced to redefine what life is, what life means, and how we survive. That is exhausting work. Trauma and grief can send us out from a familiar life to a new life in exile. The people of Israel needed to hear words of comfort, words of strength, words promising tenderness from God. We have raw edges after dramatic change and tragedy. We need comfort, strength, and tenderness. We long for God's wonder and glory to be revealed. We know we are frail and fragile. The scripture says like grass in times of drought, months of heat, and no rain. God speaks good news from the high places, and we need to hear good news. Do you sense that people will want to hear a Christmas message even more this Christmas than maybe they have in the past? God speaks good news from the high places and we need to hear it. God will feed the flocks like a watchful shepherd. will gather the lambs and tenderly carry them and will gently lead the mother sheep. Whoever thought in ancient times, that this tender, personal, attentive description would describe God. No, 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 people say. God is the opposite of what you just described. God is a mighty warrior, an all-powerful monarch seated on a throne. None of this tender shepherd stuff. None of this carrying the lambs ever so gently in the arms. This reminds me, of course, of Jesus in Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 through 30. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, Jesus says. Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me, Work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. 
I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I love this. I love this. Uh, this is from the message. That translation, come away with me. Get away from being burned out on religion. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. That's got to be one of my favorite translations. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Grace is always surprising, like fresh dew on the grass in the early morning. When we are burned out, when we're bone weary, when we have struggled like everything depends on us, Jesus reminds us of grace. How many of us have struggled like everything depended on our effort? I know I have. Jesus reminds us of grace. Grace is love that cannot be earned no matter how hard you work. Nothing about grace is forced. Jesus says, keep company with me and you will live freely. When we hear these words, we realize how tired we are. Tired of going to work in COVID. Tired of working from home in isolation. Tired of not being able to visit with our family and friends in person. Tired of not eating meals together. Tired of being anxious all the time about an invisible virus. In following the world's ways, we are hard-driving Americans, working long hours. We work in the mines of hustle. There are people living in poverty who cannot catch a break. I think of the homeless that are helped by Ms. Carly's place. They don't get to sit and watch movies or Netflix most of the day or all evening. How can we offer them some rest? How can we help them to hear Jesus say, Come away with me. Leave behind your being burned out on religion and learn the unforced rhythms of grace. We are helping them by donating blankets this winter or other items. We want someone to get up on a high mountain and call out the ringing good news of God. All people are fragile. All people will see God's wonder together. Lift up your voice with strength. God will feed the flock like a shepherd and will gather the lambs and carry them tenderly and gently lead the mother sheep. God has been compared to a nursing mother in Isaiah 49, 15. God is speaking in this passage. Can a woman forget her nursing child that she should have no compassion on the child of her womb? Even these may forget Yet I will not forget you, God says. We need that kind of tenderness. God as a mother can also be strong and fierce. Now you all know you would not get want to get in between a mother bear and her cubs. So God can be fierce when people are doing wrong to those in need. Isaiah says in today's passage, all people will see this justice together. When we spend time with people, whether by telephone, outdoors, or on Zoom, the interactions as we learn even more how to be kind can smooth down some of our rough edges. This is one of the reasons we need the church, is because we rub against one another and the rough edges are worn down. That's why we need each other. I think our phone tree can do this too. We ask the question, how are you? Or a question like, tell me a Christmas memory. And then we listen very compassionately. This is a way we can reach out to one another, strengthen each other, and reach out to the community. We listen. Being present with one another is a greater gift than productivity. We are often preoccupied and distracted weary of the present, pulled down by the past, and longing for the future. 
Jesus invites us into the present moment. And in that moment, we genuinely listen to one another. In this, we hear the good news. Amen.